Okay, good evening to all of you. Let us start quickly with our session. So we shall be taking up uh, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, adverbs, quantifiers, comparatives, idiomatic expressions. The screen you can see on your screens also. Verbs and lastly we shall be taking up subject verb agreement. Primarily our purpose is to discuss few important tricks related to these areas and uh, practice few questions based on these tricks. Okay, for example the first term is subject pronoun so are we aware of subject pronoun guys so uh, subject pronoun any pronoun playing the role of subject is called subject pronoun for example in this case we play the bridge we is pronoun and playing the role of subject any uh, pronoun playing the role of subject is called subject pronoun and why do we need this definition uh, we shall be uh, discussing few questions based on this so next is object pronoun here we are talking about the classification of uh, pronouns in terms of usage because uh, there is very important funda we discuss in our regular classes also how many of you are aware of IME funda generally I have got one video in place also on our website regarding IME how many of you are available uh, have seen this no so just go and watch uh, this IME funda on our website so there also I discussed in, the, in detail what exactly we mean by subject pronoun or object pronoun so object pronoun what are object pronouns any pronoun playing the role of object in the sentence and what is object I'm assuming that we are aware of the with these uh, few terms so in this case they is your subject pronoun and invited us this is called object pronoun so any pronoun playing the role of subject is called subject pronoun any pronoun playing the role of object likewise where I'm moving my pen is called an object pronoun am I clear so let's move ahead now the first usage uh, what's the problem how do we use where do we use subject pronoun and where do we use object pronoun uh, the trick is very simple see whatever we write whatever we speak in this language we use simple funda that is called subject we use this funda first subject will come then a verb then object this is the simplest structure we use while speaking or writing am I clear so the simple trick is before the verb let's say this is a verb before the verb if you want to use any pronoun before the verbs we should use subject pronoun and after the verbs we use object pronouns let us take this example to understand this better she accused you and he of misbehaving now accuse here is a verb the trick goes like that after the verb we use object pronouns so instead of he the correct version would be she accused you or you and him of misbehaving am i clear guys just keep on pressing whenever I ask am I clear so that uh, we have got 70 80 slides right now we are on fifth slide only okay so that is how we use before the verb if you have to use any pronoun then it has to be subject pronoun and after the verb it has to be object pronoun and in detail if you want to understand this I hope that uh, I have made you understood that uh, what exactly is the funda simplest trick before the verb subject after the verb object pronoun am I clear okay let's move ahead the next funda is who whom funda so for example the sentence number one who slash whom is that letter from second who slash whom was this poem written by now if you're carrying uh, keeping carrying this uh, pen and copy with you right now you need to write this remember this that if at the end of the sentence you find preposition for example from is here and uh, here it is by if at the end of any sentence we find preposition then answer would be who always I'll tell you one important trick also after this particular slide if any sentence is ending with any preposition out of who and whom we use who who is that let who is that letter from who was this poem written by so you need to write or remember this particular trick next is at the start of the sentence we see preposition here to here and about here whenever we use preposition at the start of the sentence the answer would be always whom yes Swati it is uh, normally where are you speak, uh, speaking from we generally uh, interrogative sentences uh, we can end the sentence with prepositions also no problem am I clear with these two sentences tricks okay now the uh, trick is very simple so whenever we are you uh, confused in using who slash whom let's say if we are asked who will come or whom will come the trick is very simple just look at the trick 
whenever we are able to insert whenever we are able to insert he or she anywhere in these sentences i generally tell in my classes also the answer is always who and whenever we are able to insert him or her anywhere in these kind of sentences the answer is always whom the simple trick if we are able to insert he or she then it is who and if you are able to insert insert or fit in i am not saying we have to replace or substitute him or her the answer would be whom let us now learn how to apply this trick even so this sentence i am doing mr gilbert sentence mr gilbert who slash whom is the leader of opposition criticized the ruling party for its weak policies your guess guys what will come who or whom look at looking at this trick which i told you right now yes absolutely you all are born genius he is the leader of opposition here he can come so answer would be who absolutely fine and who slash whom do you imagine will the next prime minister of india next example who slash whom do you imagine will be the next prime minister do you imagine him he will be the next prime minister again the answer is who here he will be the next prime minister who will be the next prime minister he will be the next prime minister so who next slide it is hard to say who slash whom the country will decide is to be <coughs> considered responsible for all that has happened in last few years <coughs> so what will come guys whom it is hard to say whom the country will decide to be considered responsible for all that has happened in last year he is to be considered responsible most of the guys are going with the whom and some of them are saying who hoga shushmita is saying who hoga yes he is to be considered he is to be considered responsible so answer would be here we can fit he he is to be considered responsible for all that has happened in last few years who the country will decide so answer would be who again yes yes guys it is who you all are genius let's move on to next funda now next is usage you can see on your screen you rahul and i are being charged with a breach of trust i'll be keeping i'll picking up examples and with the help of examples we shall be learning tricks rather than first gyan funda and then uh, tricks no example question and tricks simple okay uh, so uh, you rahul and i are being charged uh, with the breach of trust we are again talking about the pronoun if the order is correct say it no error if the uh, order is wrong then we have to correct it yes shushmita correct swati correct uh, rahul yes our order is wrong so whenever we are talking about negative situations negative situation or blame sharing here we are talking about the blame then the order of using personal pronoun is 1 2 and 3 first first person will come then second person then third so it should be i you and rahul yes error is there i you and rahul let's say if we are talking about positive situation if the situation is positive or we are share, uh, sharing praise then the order will be yes then the order will be 2 3 1 2 3 1 then the order would be in negative situation the order is 1 2 and 3 and uh, yeah then it would be uh, let's say you rahul and i are to be praised for this success etc okay let next move on to next slide it is he slash him who broke the glass second example my friend a documentary maker has sent me three documents of hers oblique hers asking me to critically appraise let us do the first example uh, what is correct quickly it is he why it is he is correct why him is wrong because while speaking i think we feel him to be more appropriate in comparison to he what's the problem yes shashank kunj chavi yes 361 most of the students are i think online as a uh, right balance of our chandigarh panchkula mohali students also and online students also ashish kaushik mr kaushik from pune okay so uh, the trick is very simple no doubt uh, right now we have discussed as per the trick after the verb we use object pronouns but this is an exception right now the a sentence this is an exception so just remember after it plus any helping verb listen very carefully after it plus helping verb the pronoun use is always subject 
it is I. Is correct not? It is me. No doubt. While speaking, I and me are interchangeable. He and him are also interchangeable. But in correct English, standard English, uh, British English, after it plus is, it plus any helping verb, the subject pronoun is used. Am I clear? Okay. Not him. Him is an object pronoun. So second uh, B. My friend in document is this. This there. This is no word. Her apostrophe s is no word in English language. It has to be hers. Possessive pronouns in possessive pronouns apostrophe s is not allowed. No doubt to show any kind of possession in grammar in nouns we use apostrophe s, but in pronouns earlier it used to be. Uh, let's say at the end of the application we used to write yours truly etc. But now it is not allowed. Simply we write your yours faithfully truly sincerely. That's how we go. Next, move on. Are you getting whatever we are discussing, guys? Now, adjectives. Uh, brief description. Straight away, I'll go on to the questions. Adjectives, words which are used to describe nouns or pronouns. We have got three degrees of comparison. First is called positive degree, in which we use conjunction pair as as. For example, he is as tall as his brother. In second, when we are comparing two subjects, uh, the degree used is called comparative, when the er ending words are used. And uh, Kunal, the last example. Yes, uh, but uh, okay. In the last example, B, my friend in documentary, H E R apostrophe S is not allowed in English. We cannot use apostrophe S with pronouns. So this is no word in English language. Am I clear, Kulant? Okay. So we were talking about adjectives. Two degrees of comparison. And the first degree is called positive, second is comparative when we are comparing two subjects and third is called superlative. In superlative we use EST word. Let us look at the questions we have picked up. So these are the three uh, forms. When comparing two, comparative is used. When we are talking about, for example, of the two suggestions, the former means we are comparing two, therefore ER ending words. Normally the trick sometimes, let's say if I write, Normally, while comparing two different subjects, we use this comparative word than. But whenever we are talking about the words like superior, inferior, senior, junior, etc., instead of than, two is used. For example, his junior than me is wrong. His junior to me, his uh, senior to me, I am inferior to him, I am superior to him, I prefer tea to coffee. Yes, Atul, we can uh, definitely uh, go on to the previous slide. Uh, of the two suggestion former is better former means we are talking about the two suggestions out of two former is the first one and is opposite directly opposite word to word opposite letter l a w t e r am i clear atul okay yes we shall be coming on uh, younger and older also For example, Hari is inferior to Rana in terms of intelligence. So here the version is absolutely correct. He is senior to me is correct. Instead, had it been then written over here, it would have been wrong. So he is senior to me is correct as per the trick. Otherwise, in comparative degree, we use than plus er words. Now let's talk about comparative and superlative. Few more examples. Now whenever we are uh, look at this example. On your screen, he is stronger than any man living. This sentence is correct, first of all. Uh, this sentence can be written in two ways. We can use superlative degree also. He is the strongest man. It means uh, his number one is in this area. So he is the strongest, superlative. But if you want to convert superlative into comparative degree, then we have to, we have to use than plus any combination. He is stronger than, we have to include the entire class. You can say he is the strongest man in the world it's fine but if we say he is the stronger means if i have to use if i have to convert superlative into comparative then we have to we have to use than plus any combination this is the trick okay look at this sentence guys uh, the population of london is greater than any city in india is sentence correct is the sentence correct rajiv sina i think you are rajiv sina okay if it is not correct then what is the problem with this sentence See the comparison, the thumb rule is that comparison should, comparison should be made between two similar things. For example, I cannot say that your pen is better than me. 
then it is fine i'll leave this screen this place at once your pen will come here and will take the class so are we comparing population with any city in india or population of both the cities it is it has to be population versus population yes the original sentence is reflecting as we as as if we are comparing population versus city yes you all are again born genius i i don't know uh, why didn't you uh, take cat last year so it has to be the population of london is greater than either we can use population itself which is not so called the best option then that of the other would be then that of any city in india so it has to be population versus population the best would be that of no doubt uh, just to make us make us understand uh, make us uh, make you understand uh, we can use sometimes population also so let's move on to next slide crocodile is the largest of is the is these uh, sentences correct crocodile is the largest of all reptiles amazon is the largest of all rivers if it is correct say yes these sentences are correct say yes if they are not then say then we have to find out the error so divakar is saying no the sentences are wrong dilip is again saying no no means the sentences are correct or sentences are wrong right w for wrong and r for right wrong how come these sentences are wrong no absolutely these sentences are absolutely fine that is the problem with the grammar so whenever we are solving grammar based question we take on the, the take the things on to our ego because uh, it is very difficult for us to digest the fact that sentence is not having any error uh, generally we come across that question generally has error and we are not able to locate so every time we feel that there is should be error there has to be some error and i'm not able to locate uh, but uh, crocodile is the largest can be again written in two ways this this form is also correct both the sentences are correct the point is that we can write crocodile is the largest reptile it's fine yes crocodile is the largest shobit yes uh, it can be written in this way also but the point is the trick is that if we use preposition of then we have to mention the entire class the only trick was that if it is i cannot stop here the crocodile is the largest of what and i need to mention the entire class or as per the sentence correction uh, the conciseness says that crocodile is the largest reptile would be the best yes so amazon is the largest river is fine one of the ways second if i use of then i have to mention the entire class that's how we go am i clear guys okay yep uh, in between keep pressing yes after a while okay there are certain ad adjectives they are already uh, in superlative form for example these are called perfect adjectives these are unique almighty ideal perfect complete universal entire extreme chief full and round these are to be used as such we do not have er est forms available for these words and uh, we do not have uh, more we cannot use even more most before these words for example i cannot say fuller fullest not out in most of the advertisements and while in cricket commentary also he has bold uh, most of the time he bold uh, bowls fuller length delivery but that is again american english not the british english no doubt uh, while indians we go for shopping we generally uh, whenever we want we have to purchase any decorative decoration piece or simply anything so we'll go to the shopkeeper okay uh, bro show me something roundish something more roundish something roundest of all so that's how we go so shopping indians so these are to be used as such that's why to say this is the most perfect diamond is incorrect we cannot use because most is redundant here this is the perfect diamond would be correct if i use most now older versus eldest older elder uh, swati these are called perfect adjectives means they are already in superlative form so no more most for these words and no er est forms for these words now older versus elder older outside the family you have to tell the age of anything be it living be it non living within the family in order to tell relation we use elder for example uh, he is my elder brother that in terms of relation blood relation that he is my elder brother but if i have to tell that uh, in terms of age then i would say 
my elder brother is three or four years older to me something like this otherwise in relation we use elder or younger but outside the family we use older be it living or non living for example he is uh, this is the oldest building in this village or in this uh, city for example rahul is the eldest or versus oldest of three brothers what will come yeah it is it has to be with simple abhi discuss kiya so it has to be eldest now this is the oldest slash eldest village in second it would be oldest village absolutely fine let's move on to next one of you asked now i'm moving on to the adverbs now very uh, tricky part of the grammar or parts of speech now what adverbs do guys quickly come up with the definition we already have uh, i think wasted 10 15 minutes but not i'll go up to i'll take 15 minutes it's 6:30 to 8 but i'll go up to 8:15 or so so as to complete the slides nothing to worry so mahak is saying any words which are used to add something to the given verbs they personify atul you seem to be poet by heart do you have any motivation in your life atul is she local okay riva they define adverbs adjective and verb complete definition riva are you from sector 8 or panchkula or bulzai student panchkula bulzai sector 8 bulzai 44 sector 8 riva are you from my batch riva no okay let's see how meeti ma'am okay fine so adject adverbs are the words which are used to modify verbs they can modify this we all know i think we are able to recall this but they can also modify any other adverb and they can also modify adjectives also that's how they go example let us look at the examples they can modify verbs also adverb also adjective also parol in last example we discussed about elder versus older in the village uh, example we the answer was oldest and in the rahul example uh, the answer was elder am i clear parol okay this uh, for example he worked on the sum quickly now quickly is modifying quickly is modifying verb the verb work therefore this is an adverb this flower is very beautiful now beautiful in the adjective the very has been used to modify beautiful so any word modifying any other adjective is also an adverb basic definition she pronounced the word quite correctly now correctly already an adverb quite is modifying this so quite is also an adverb so adverbs are used to modify verbs adverbs or adjectives that's how we go so let us uh, pick a few example based on this part of speech very commonly used example i'll write this on screen here itself he played well or good so he played well or he played good he played well yes here we want to modify play the way he played not he himself so whenever you are confused in using good slash well remember this that if i write handwriting is not clear divakar you are praising me i'll try my level best so as to make my handwriting more beautiful <laughs> okay uh, coming back to the he played well slash good that is uh, well will come here well is an adverb good is an adjective so if i say well job and good done what is the problem well job and good done most of the students are confused between well and good in our native language we have got same meaning for these two words that is acha so yeah it has to be good job and well done therefore well is an adverb and good is an adjective that's how we go always remember this good job well done yes okay uh, moving on to the next example let's say if i say i haven't got any is correct it would have been wrong if i say i haven't got none so we cannot use two negatives in a sentence good is an adjective atyant i could not find it nowhere if it had been nowhere it would have been wrong i couldn't find it anywhere is correct so we cannot use 
two negatives in the same sentence for example if i say until he doesn't clean this room he will not sleep well at night guys listen it's very carefully uh, please repeat last example ekam uh, ekam uh, it is uh, no no it's a problem uh, listen the sentence very carefully until he doesn't clean that room comma he will not sleep well at night and yeah well is an adjective adverb or adject adverb well is an adverb atyant okay uh, guys your take on this example which i asked yes until he cleans until is already a negative word with one negative we cannot use any other negative that's how we go am i clear until he doesn't clean is wrong until he cleans that room he will not be able to sleep well at night okay let's look at the quantifiers now let us look at the example and come to the slide now quantifiers means word which are used to quantify the things no kaushik till and until are not same till is used for positive uh, situations and until is used for negative command for wait for me until i come so that's how we go so few uh, now we are now we are talking about the quantifier words which are used to quantify the things now we can uh, we have two types of let's say quantification one for countable stuff another for uncountable stuff for countable stuff we use few primarily few for countable and another word which i would be picking would be little little for uncountable now but with use of articles their meanings their usage will change for example few means hardly any for example i was expecting let's say uh, 500 uh, student gathering and let's say only 10 turned up so i would say few students were there a few is equal into some let out of 500 100 came to attend the lecture i would say a few students were there now if i say a few words spoken in earnest will con- uh, a few words this is correct usage a few words spoken in earnest will convince him that is it's fine the correct usage the few refers to specific few for example this is an example she spent the few minutes not all but whatever time was left with her she spent the few minutes she had in preparing the speech yes uh, she has a few friends means uh, a few is used uh, in positive sense few means hardly any if the person is very reserved by nature if i say that she has few friends only that means it is understood that she is not so sociable or gregarious and uh, she is very reserved person by nature a few words it depends a few players uh, gregarious means sociable a few will take a uh, plural noun for example a few words a few items are required so it has to be plural so the few uh, refers to something specific now listen the example carefully uh, and you tell me just type on the what will come a few or the few for example the uh, the questions the sentence goes like this a few oblique the few books he had were all taken by the thief yes swati i'll be coming on to little a little also a few oblique the few books he had were all taken by the thief absolutely fine mantrip you are my student you already know this example fine vanchika also gorav okay uh, coming back to uh, going to the next slide yes answer is the few similarly little is not much little first of all the basic difference is it is used for countable stuff sorry uncountable stuff for example there is little scope means there is no scope practically we are not talking about mathematically zero scope hardly any scope in this dancing a little means some do not much a little tech would have saved the situation means a little and the little money he had was soon exhausted the little money he had was soon exhausted for example if i say use a little slash the little time you have in a proper way what will come use a little slash the little time you have in a proper way yeah the little will come absolutely fine now conjunctions so conjunctions are the words which are used to connect 
to sentences to words etc there are some conjunctions which will occur in pair also right now for example after scarcely we use when this is for sure we cannot uh, use then or any other word with scarcely after no sooner we use than for example if i write yes with hardly let me write it very beautifully after hardly also when am i clear yes uh, after not only but also i am erasing side by side also so as to utilize the space and with other the word is other with other than is used yes ranjan with other than is used and with else but is used with else but is used and uh, with not only but also that's how it is these are yeah with both and is used with both as well as cannot be used else but yes utkarsh let's move on to next questions now subject verb agreement very important aspect of your grammar subject verb agreement now what exactly we mean by this and after that we shall be starting with uh, 20 plus practice questions i have picked up so as to revise the basic tricks subject verb agreement say that sub verb should agree with the subject in number also in person also that means if subject is singular verb should be singular if subject is plural verb should be plural but this is not always true in sentence correction workshop i shall be taking up these exception but right now I, let me tell you a few for example with i in present tense we use am in past we shall be using i was future i will so do we use were after i guys my question do we use were abhishek yes 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 you all are aware of so can i say that i were your teacher he were my student i were going there he were coming here on the one hand you are saying that i can use were with i or he and on the other hand you are uh, yeah, negating my uh, construction yes i wish if i were a teacher yes this subject agreement fails whenever we are talking about imaginary or hypothetical situations i wish if i were a president of us i wish if i were a president of let's say uh britain i wish if i were a billionaire now times have gone thinking about millionaire it's better to think of billionaire so if it's imaginary situation were is used i think i have improved upon my handwriting so you need to comment on my handwriting side by side yes so uh, that is called subject verb agreement let's check the words now if i say my friend smokes this is correct my friend is singular therefore smoke verb is fine ati sundar handwriting okay n is missing but ha the writing okay i thought uh, my thank you sushmita my friends smoke so all my friends we have got excellent friends so friends plural therefore smoke but generally we all know whenever we use the conjunction and there are so many tricks related to subject verb agreement whenever we use and the verb is generally plural gold and silver are it is absolutely correct no problem with this sentence so do we have any situation that even after using and to join two different words the verb would be singular guys can you recall any situation yes i think you all are born genius why don't you write start writing books on grammar i think you already have little yes the shelva is smiling yes dhawal uh, most of us recall of this uh, milk and butter example bread and milk bread and butter example so uh, i picked up also okay for example uh, look at this example even after using these two different words time and tide whenever we are using two different words and both are being referred to they are almost identical in meaning then the verb would be singular this is situation number 1 
whenever we have two different words but almost identical meaning likewise in example number 1 the verb is singular for example slow and steady wins the race not win the race in second example in second example bread and butter is his daily food generally we think that it is his because of uh, that these are to these two are these two e e tables are to be used uh, used together no the subject here is his daily food this is the subject which is singular and as per subject verb agreement no bread and butter is not one item kaushik because the subject here is his daily food his daily food is bread and butter but if i remove his daily food from this example second example bread and butter is oblique are costlier nowadays now what will come bread and butter is oblique are costlier nowadays yes now are will come because the subject now is plural so ekam okay ekam is one then is dvitya tritya okay so bread and butter is is daily food because here subject we are talk about his daily food what is his daily food his daily food is bread and butter no doubt the guy is not from mohali not from punjab so time and tide waits first example is different second example is different first example is based on the logic no doubt these time and tide are two different words but they are almost identical in meaning whenever we have got this case the verb is singular always without any exception and second sentence based on the uh, example that bread and butter no doubt these again are two different uh, e uh, eatable uh, items but they are converging into one singular idea which is of daily food or in grammatical terms the subject here is his daily food which is singular therefore verb is singular as per subject verb agreement am i clear guys okay okay uh, so guys uh, look at this example the novelist and the, uh, the novelist and poet thinker is dead is the sentence correct okay so whenever the is used only once before two different characters it means we are talking about the same guy same guy was novelist and same guy was poet also but if the is used twice if i write the poet here the poet the novelist and the poet then answer would be r So that's how subject verb agreement changes its form whenever different articles are used it is not always true that whenever we use uh, conjunction and the word would be the verb will be plural it's not always true okay uh, now coming on to one of the let's say the structure is moving on to the next example if the structure is one off sentence is starting with one off so after one off always remember this trick that noun is always singular one of my friends and verb is always singular noun is always plural sorry and verb is always singular now look at uh, whenever we are uh, to we have to set the verb correct we need just need to focus on now the question should be starting so you need to be a little alert so and uh, all the songs here the subject is all the songs therefore r is correct now two very important tricks in subject verb agreement i think most of you would be aware of this at least my students uh, the first subject the first trick is called first subject rule and there is one more trick it is called nsr nearest subject rule are we all aware of these two tricks guys yes fsr and nsr in my videos also you'll find these this is called first subject rule and this or the farthest subject rule this is called nearest or second subject rule so the first explanation you see on your screen is based on fsr so whenever we join two different subjects using as well as with in addition to and not etc the verb the form of the verb is controlled by the first subject let us look at the example to understand it better so it says that mr prakash subject number 1 and his son subject number 2 generally we go by the nearest verb uh, subject mr prakash as well as his sons are hard working would have written r here 
but R would have been wrong. So here the first subject Mr. Prakash is singular. It is all because of this connector as well as. Whenever we join two different subjects using as well as or along with or and not, this is the connector here, conjunction, the form of the verb will be controlled by the first subject, he has. The BJP is, Mr. Prakash is, that's how we go. Am I clear guys? This is called, the trick is called FSR. Moving on to the next Again, uh, based on this is accompanied by is again from the family of FSR. Therefore, answer in this case again is was. Now, if you start any sentence using each, every, either, neither, etc., many, a, uh, they all will be followed by a singular verb. For example, uh, Vanshika, which particular example? Mr. Lalu example or this one right now? If you start any sentence with one of these pronouns, each, every, either, neither, many, a, uh, then singular verb is used. For example, either of these two boys is here is correct. After either is. This is what this slide is saying. Okay, he and not you has been. Yeah, it is he and uh, not you. Because and not uh, belongs to family of FSR. And uh, he is singular here, therefore he has. Which one? So neither, after neither also, the verb would be singular. Each was, now many a. Uh, it seems to be plural, but many a uh, is followed by singular helping verb. So simple trick, many a. Uh. If I remove a uh, from this example number third, then this also will change. Many men have question. After many a, uh, the noun would be plural and so consequently verb also would be plural. But after many a uh, means singular. Many a uh, man has question. Each was, neither is. That's how we go. Now this, this particular slide is based on NSR, nearest subject rule. It says that Whenever we join two different conjunction uh, subjects using either or or neither nor, the verb would be controlled by the second or the nearest. This is second subject. This is first subject. He number one, I number two. Number two verb uh, subject would be controlling. So either he or I am to do it or I have to do it. Neither you nor he. The second subject here is he. This is first subject. Joined with the help of conjunction neither nor. Therefore he is. No, Shivam, all is well is not correct. Uh, no doubt, sometimes when using, uh, let's say if all refers to all the situation at once, entire situation, then all is well, but otherwise the correct version as per British English is all are, all are fine, we all are fine. All is well uh, is one of the songs, I think from 3 Idiot. All is well means if you are talking about entire situation, all events using uh, one single unit then all is, but uh, in American English all is fine, but in British English all, plural. Okay, either they or he is, it has to be is palak, the second subject, because right now we are talking about the rule, it is NSR, last example based on NSR, nearest subject or the second subject rule, not only one of the uh, conjunctions used for F NSR, not only he first subject but also his parents second subject so his parents which is plural therefore have gone is correct okay so when the distance is weight or amounts represent a single unit or quantity it is singular do not worry about this move on to the straightway questions 200 rupees is is correct generally we use r while speaking but this is wrong 200 rupees is correct would be fine r in this case would have been wrong 100 miles is correct again r in this case would have been wrong why because 200 rupees we are not talking we are talking about the money what amount of money what amount is not so big nowadays 200 rupees what distance is not a long nowadays 100 miles 
that's how we reach go yep so whenever we are talking about the fixed quantity 200 rupees 100 miles they all refer to fixed number that's why uh, uh, you know singular verb but otherwise uh, another way of looking at this example is uh, what uh, money nowadays what amount of money nowadays is not so big what distance in nowadays is not so long so that's is 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 used so this is collective noun uh, whenever we use a heard it means singular uh, group here a is singular therefore is but right now i'll be moving on to very uh, simple uh, situation after collective nouns we can use uh, singular verb also and plural verb also are we all clear of this particular trick for example the army is oblique are worried about the shortfall of officers guys try this question after this we shall be starting with direct questions no more gyan army is oblique are worried about shortfall army is oblique are not moving in unison what about the second example first example is is correct second example r is correct yes absolutely fine so whenever we are talking considering uh, this collective noun as single unit we use is because entire army is worried about the shortfall and second example when we are talking about the members of collective noun that's why divakar are and how do we know that we are talking about we are considering collective noun as single unit or uh, are we talking about the members then it has to be in the context always they are not who would be not moving who are not moving soldiers it is always based on the context kaushik is absolutely fine is grammar expert from new york so army is worried about so entire army we are talking about considering the entire army and uh, here the army is oblique are not moving so from moving we come to know that we are talking about the soldiers that's how we go if collective noun behaving like a single unit verb will be singular if we are talking about the members then verb would be plural and this can be known from the context of the given sentences okay uh, there are certain nouns uh, which are used in plural likewise as we all know uh, goods pants shoes tongs means etc because they all are consisting of two parts but uh, my shoes are if you want to convert them into singular it would be a pair yes last example again akshay akshay from the bollywood mr rustam okay mr rustam listen again the army is oblique are worried about sh uh, shortfall of officers we are talking about entire army then army is not our collective noun but after same see look at these two example the uh, word the subject is the army the army but in one, first example we have used is and second example we have used are so what's the difference whenever entire army collective noun is behaving like single unit the verb would be singular if we are talking about the members of collective noun then verb would be plural then how do we know that we are talking about single unit or uh, moving uh, you are talking about the members of collective noun this we have to look at the context we need to take out this from the context so worried about the shortfall entire army would be worried not one or two people prominent people from the army and in second example the army is oblique are not moving in unison that means who are not moving we are talking about the members soldiers soldiers are not moving in unison so army are that's why okay mr rustam you are welcome so some of yeah a pair of caesar a pair of uh, while using a pair we can convert the, them into uh, singular so moving on to the next slide so the rich are exploiting the poor is the correct usage why do we use the before these nationalities because if i do not use the rich so the rich means the entire class the rich and after the rich the verb is plural we are talking about all rich people the rich are exploiting poor the guilty are to be punished we are talking about all guilty people the guilty is to be punished no the, the guilty are punished by the law because the descriptive like the rich the blind the guilty are always plural we are talking about all these people the rich nowadays are exploiting poor 
we are treating them as plural now the british are very conservative that means we are talking about all britishers if i delete this the britishers are very conservative the british means the britishers all britishers we are talking about all people from the context it is clear that britishers is not britishers is will not make any sense britishers are we are talking about the britain people people there are very conservative that's why britishers is is wrong shushmita so phrase like a lot of a great deal of plenty of are singular when they refer to amount very important trick and but they are used in plural when they refer to number very important trick and if you have to again uh, look at this trick the britishers are river correct now you want to note down this example britain is full of conservative people would be fine britain is conservative yeah you talk about the nation not the people there a lot of money was so here if you are talking about the amount then verb singular if you are talk after a lot of if you are using countable stuff then verb would be plural yes britain is conservative it's a conservative nation okay now let's uh, have rapid fire of questions volley of questions now only examples questions and you have to answer okay mr popatlal together with friends are planning a holiday mm -hmm. now let us check the knowledge we have gathered till now first example is based on fsr right now couple of minutes ago we did so it has to be is in place of are yes is is wrong because first subject is mr popet which is singular now moving on to the second question guys his efficiency and politeness pleases everyone who comes in contact with him read the sentence take your time and figure out what's the problem if there is no problem no error then write no error sentence is correct c what's the problem with well, what is c correct no we are talking about the two qualities his efficiency and his politeness these two are different things efficiency is something else politeness is something else joined with the conjunction and therefore it has to be please yes palak vikas abhishek vanshika now it's fine so moving on to the third question guys this kind of quiz has started now uh, we are all trying to recall the tricks we have learned till now right from class 1 to btech final bcom final bsc final a large number of bricks and stones have been used in construction of this building okay all all of you are getting sentimental it have is absolutely fine with this case no it is not correct no doubt but have is correct riva yes have is fine there is no problem with this shitij yes you are my student i know and you already know have you attended this class earlier shitij yes or no shitij you are born genius then yes so it has to be guys it has to be brick and stone now the trick goes like this and why have is correct let me explain this also first a number just write down if you are carrying pen or copy with you a number is a large number or small number whatever but a number is followed by plural helping verb a number is followed by plural helping verb and on the other hand the number is followed by singular helping verb um uh, my pace of speaking is like uh, as if i am uh, you know uh, uttering urdu shayari arz ki hai irshad a number is followed by plural helping verb and the number is followed by singular helping verb so a number have is fine now what's the problem with bricks and stones how come these uh, s is removed from these two words trick is very simple now you have to listen very carefully i'll not be writing this trick on screen if any material noun yes silva if any material noun is part of construction then it is to be used in singular or it is used to be uh, in the form of uncountable for example 
ताज महल इज बिल्ट ऑफ व्हाइट मार्बल्स और मार्बल राइट डाउन इफ यू आर हियरिंग माई वॉइस माई वॉइस इज ऑडिबल ताज महल इज बिल्ट ऑफ व्हाइट मार्बल्स और व्हाइट मार्बल येस मार्बल सो एनी मेटीरियल नाउन in english grammar it's they say that grammarians in mathematics we can count we can count the number of bricks we can divide the area of wall with the area of the brick but in english whenever any material noun is part of construction it is to be used in singular am i clear guys okay but second question which is coming to your mind would be that where do we use bricks and stones yes we can use bricks and stones whenever uh they can be counted for example i can say that there are three or four stones or bricks lying in front of me when they are not part of any construction then we can use them in plural also likewise standard english yeah bricks are broken shushmita yes normally hearts are broken but uh, i'll go with you also bricks are broken nowadays but nowadays hearts are broken okay uh he often buys we have got 26 question guys so i shall be okay we'll be able to finish till till 8:15 nothing to worry about we are going fine and uh, let's move on to question number 4 he often buys fruits and vegetables from this bazaar in the evening now we are doing question number 4 guys read and answer swati fruit and vegetables very good mr rajiv my name is also rajiv but i use double e you use i So you are from which place, Rajiv? Seems to be from Denmark. No, Reva. The correct version is yes. Most of you are correct. It has to be fruit, s removed, but vegetables is fine. So he often buys fruit and vegetables from this bazaar. Now, why do we use fruit and vegetables? Uh, whenever we are using these two words in general, fruit is used in singular, s i n g, and vegetables is used in plural. Am I clear? Mr Sagar Mr C S E A So okay now fifth question moving on to the question number 6 example number 5 the police report said that the law and order situation were absolutely normal so great so you have learned everything so fast yes it has to be was in place of were it has to be was why was no doubt we have used the conjunction and but law and order have got the same meaning they are almost identical in meaning therefore law and order situation was absolutely normal yes ekam but now moving on to guys question number 6 nilu and i are to clear the table i we cannot use is guys no or means we are talking about fsr fifth sixth question is based on sorry sorry nsr so in place of r we can either use am or we can put have so nilu or i am or i have to clear the table yes seventh question guys there goes old mrs bagga and her meek little husband there goes old mrs bagga and her meek little husband what's the error with this what's the problem with this sentence mr koshik absolutely fine we are talking about the two subjects here mrs bagga and her meek little husband so it has to be go not goes goes is singular go we need plural mrs bagga and her meek little husband are going there i go are going to the market so it has to be go not goes meek little husband nothing personal now question number 8 we haven't scarcely any sugar now this sentence can be corrected in two ways either we can use yes we have scarcely any sugar or we haven't got any sugar because we cannot use negative twice in the same sentence okay guys done now moving on to ninth question out of chennai uh, bombay and delhi the letter l w t r is the hottest city uh yanshika we hardly has any sugar we hardly have any sugar yes yes we can use so out of chennai mumbai and delhi the letter is the hottest city we cannot use letter here because l a w t e r can only be used for two subjects here we are talking about three subjects chennai mumbai and delhi so it has uh, it could be 
the last is my favorite last is the hottest city first is the hottest city or second is the hot, hottest city third is the hottest city yes but we cannot use la double t r letter it can only be used for two subjects yeah last one is fine river so moving on to the question number 10 it is i who has been chosen for this job after rigorous selection procedure your time read this take your time answer vikas do not get sentimental it is i is correct right now we have taken this gyan after it plus any helping verb the verb is the pronoun should be subject mantrik absolutely fine divakar means son you cannot be wrong okay uh, it is i who has been chosen for this the question has no error the absolutely difficult question so whenever we learn grammar and we have learnt a little grammar we take the things on to our ego kuch log to likewise while solving these questions they keep the pen aside ya to aaj ye nahi ya to aaj main nahi that's how they go even while solving dilr question also after solving you know uh, while preparing tables they'll try one once twice thrice and uh, fourth time they'll keep the pen aside aaj ya to tu nahi ya to hum nahi either in jail or rail okay moving on to next it is uh, okay uh, coach now we are doing question number 11 guys read question number 11 you he and i are to be blamed for this messy situation we have landed in thanks shushmita okay uh, you he and i are to be blamed for this messy situation we have landed in it has to be i you and he it has to be 1 2 3 absolutely fine genius now question number 12 guys my elder brother is older to i was his funny reply to the question asked by the teacher it has to be funny because the uh, reply is very funny so if there is any error guys try to correct it if there is no error say no error and we'll move ahead my elder brother is fine my elder brother is it cannot be my elder brother is elder is older after older we use than not to after elder we use to but after older we use than this only yeah older than that's it chalo let's move ahead the question number 13 guys the two brothers resemble one another to a great extent and this often leads to confusion up to great extent no 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 yeah problem two brothers resemble one another so we cannot use one another one another is used for more than two subjects for two we use each other yes each other so two brothers remember each other both are for the same meaning that is called aapas mein but uh, one another for more than two subjects yeah each other for example two friends love each other four friends love one another the second story is quite interesting four friends love one another so uh, question number 14th i prefer la double t r later proposition is idea or the statement to the former because of its lower cost and faster transaction speed now here in place of la single t e r we have to use l a double t e r yes later okay uh, question number 15 guys let's use red color now i cannot say anything to him because he is senior than me he is senior to me absolutely fine look at question number 16 the height of foolishness he bathes himself every day i am sure that he is from mohali punjab he bathes he takes shower every day he bathes every day himself is redundant here we cannot use no doubt so himself is wrong why himself is wrong but we do use these are called reflexive pronoun guys just one trick for example if i write john killed sham red color seems to be good my writing is coming fine now john the first is subject john this is verb john killed sham this is object right but john was so happy that john killed he committed khudkushi what is called khudkushi john killed himself so whenever subject in the yeah yeah suicide john killed himself he was so happy that he killed 
himself so these reflexive pronouns self ending words are used whenever subject of the sentence is the object or object is same as the subject or subject is doing action upon itself for example history repeats write down the complete the sentence history repeats itself john killed himself so he bathes himself now but here himself is redundant because bathe itself means that you are taking care of your body or you are taking shower yes now question number 17 guys we are left with only 8 or 9 questions neither of courses of action were acceptable to us after neither the answer would be was yes yes absolutely ash is so happy about so question number 18 how come it is 18th okay yeah 18th i know few people in the defense ministry who will definitely be the context is something positive definitely will be able to help you so in in place of it has to be oh i know some people is fine good or a few people because context is positive few means hardly any in second 19th example the doctor was very optimistic and said there is little hope of recovery now hope is again positive word so we have to use here a little yes now i think the way you are going you are bound to smash cat snap zat and mat ift these all are very very low level competition for you straight away you will get into harvard or stanford so nothing less than now stanford or harvard if they don't take us in will open our own university in front of their university that's called competition or globalization we strictly believe in wharton is fine dear okay many uh, question number 20 now guys question number 20 many people say that taj on a moonlit night is worth seeing sight can be corrected in uh, two ways either we can remove sight from here many people say the taj on a moonlit night is worth seeing absolutely fine or we can we have to take sight before the worth here many people say taj on a moonlit night is a worth seeing a sight worth seeing first of all it is a sight which is worth seeing or uh, simply remove sight yeah sight of taj also fine reba question number 21 the number of hooligans gathered outside the premises are alarming yes now you know that a number is followed by singular help plural helping verb the number is followed by singular helping verb so in place of is let me rise beautiful is yes he is better placed than me now we are doing question number 23 every time i have to click red he is better placed than me what will come Ranjan Devati, Kritika, Riva, Aru. What about other celebrities? Okay, he is better placed than yeah. Whenever we are see, look at the trick part here. So from then we come to know that some sort of comparison is going on, right? And what is he? He is a subject pronoun. Now comparison say that same things should be compared. We cannot compare apple with oranges. he subject pronoun can only be compared with subject pronoun now me is an object pronoun therefore me is wrong here in place of me it has to be i am i clear about the trick then from then we come to know about some sort of comparison is going on and comparison should be between similar things therefore he now he is subject pronoun so can only be compared with subject pronoun now oh yeah kaushik it is am is understood so this it is not important uh necessary for the writer to write am in these question that's why we have to make you understand this this particular trick yeah i am i am is understood question number 23 the java course was both rigorous and a challenge yes to sure it is challenging but why challenging trick because why challenging guys anybody who can explain challenging so it is rigorous challenge is a noun yeah swati it is parallelism what is rigorous it is an adjective so we need an adjective here or in terms of 
Now challenge can be noun also. Challenge can be verb also by adding. Yes. So by adding ing at the end of the verbs, we can convert them into either nouns or adjectives. So participle. These are also called participle. Need not to worry about the semantics or you can say uh, the jargon part. So Java course was both rigorous, adjective, and challenging. No, no, no punctuation required after i is fine without punctuation even. Moving on to the next slide. So 24th and 25th question now we are doing. When I came home, the children still didn't finish their dinner. Now we are doing 24th. Yes, what will come? In place of did not, it would be had not. But the point is why had not? Hadn't finished. Yes, mantrip. When I came home, children still did not finish their dinner. So whenever we are talking about two past actions, so here two past actions are his coming to home, his coming home, and children didn't finish their dinner, right? Miss the dinner or. So whenever we are talking about two past actions, one is happening after another. With the first action, we use past perfect tense. That is. Did is simple past or past indefinite. So we need the first uh, uh, action is this. Uh, children uh, didn't finish their dinner. So with in place of did we will use had. That's how we go. Now moving on to question number twenty five. The new law will have influence on future building. This again can be corrected in two or three ways. Would or will is fine. while speaking we use we have started using would but otherwise uh, where do we need uh, future tense we should use will in writing while speaking this is fine okay yeah shitej uh, buildings also or it this can again be corrected in two ways for example if we are taking future in terms of time for us yet to come then building will come before future the new law will have an influence on building what future building what future this can be corrected in this way also one of the ways second uh, yeah if it is about construction the new law will have influence on future then we have to convert this building into plural by adding s all future buildings divakar you cannot be wrong so this can sentence can be corrected in two ways if you are talking about uh, time future in terms of time for us yet to come that is called bhavishya so new law will have influence on building future or if we talk about the taking this building as noun so we have to use plural because all future uh, buildings in future okay selva so the sentence can be corrected 25 question 25th question uh, can be corrected in two ways first the new law will have influence on building future building the word building will come before the word future because if you are talking about a time for us human beings to come let's say your future Uh, is bright in that sense. If you are talking about, then building will come before future. And if or if we are talking about building, you are taking building as noun in terms of construction, material noun, common noun, building. Then it has to be future buildings, all buildings in the future. Am I clear, Silva? On future, yes. On future, yes. Koshik, it is fine. If I remove building, even last slide of the day. No, no. We still have more. I don't know what else we have got. his cultured behavior and social graces makes him endearing to all okay i have already i think narrated the answer now we are doing question number 26 what makes him so here what makes him endearing to all so here s will come his cultured behavior and social graces generally we think that subject is his cultured behavior and social graces no what makes him endearing two or three qualities makes him not social grace grace there's no problem with graces means mannerisms we are talking about the manners so graces is fine can be used in singular also can be used in plural also shilpa uh, 27th question a little dangerous question do not take it otherwise be positive think positive all her friends agree that her dish is tastier than her either we can write apostrophe s her sisters or then that of 26 the verb would be makes we are talking about single thing what makes him 
let it be n number of thing that would make him but what makes him inferior so all our friends agree that her dish uh, is tasted than that of her sister or than her sisters 28th while dressing the alarm clock went off last question of the day guys after that i'll be winding up thank you all for bearing with me tolerating me no uh, the sentence has got a uh, has an error because looking at the first this i generally i teach in my sentence correction classes this is called dangling modifier actually so uh, while dressing it seems as if alarm clock was dressing itself and it went off automatically it cannot be herself i don't know kaushik what are you thinking uh, so here the subject is missing who was dressing while she or he or i was dressing the alarm clock went off so we cannot leave ing form alone this is called dangling modifier it should modify one subject uh, while i was dressing the alarm clock went off am i clear guys no it is not an illogical sentence but otherwise in grammar we take in grammar generally we are talking about formal english see uh, we generally try to compare the given sentences with our spoken and most of the time including me also we use american english and in american english uh, even i and we are interchangeable instead of saying i want to crack at this year they'll say me gonna crack this year so abhishek i'll be taking up this in sentence correction workshop later on and we shall be taking up uh, in detail in next few slides you will find i think answers to all these questions right so next uh, few slide answer to all these questions okay guys uh, the time has come to wind up now thanks for bearing with me and uh, sparing your precious time for me and listening my bakar bakar and uh, hope that uh, we have learned uh, one or two tricks in today's session and this will help you in cracking uh, in addition to cat snap in other exams grammar is regular feature we get 3 to 4 question but uh, let's see this time if cat changes its because rumors are there but let's see if cat includes grammar this time but need not to worry and uh, we shall be meeting soon so should we have another session on some other topic guys press yes or no okay next time let's see we have got few uh, interesting topic in uh, this verbal ability we have got critical reasoning verbal reasoning sentence correction vocabulary sentence arrangement misfit and uh, para completion there are so many things we have so uh, definitely we shall be uh, meeting soon with uh, some more topic and uh, sentence correction yeah para jumbles very uh you know as uh, giving us pain and uh, somewhere but uh, sentence correction yes uh, we shall be taking up sentence correction no doubt sentence i'll recommend generally you just listen to my analysis on uh, these papers do not to worry too much about sentence uh, para jumbles sentence arrangement so we will taking up this next time so thank you guys again once again chillax enjoy your life and uh, let's dream about stanford harvard nothing less than okay guys thank you see you all bye